Hey Fly People, it's Sheila and I'm back with another video and today it is out with the old and in with the new. Um, I am going to have some product reviews coming up. Uh, my henna souk and I don't know, uh, The there's some new lines out. There's the one by Tabitha Brown, there's one by Tia Maury. Uh, I'm not sure if I am going to purchase any of those or just get something that's been on my, my wish list for a while. There are products out there that have been um, obviously reviewed in the past, but they would be new to me, so I might, <clears throat> excuse me, end up doing that. So, let's start with the old. Um, this is a little box I put together of some empties. Um, again, I'm just trying to use up my stash because I've had so much and I feel like I'm really making headway, so bear with me. There, are, there, there is no particular order. I'm just pulling whatever is in this little box because I'm, I don't want to be holding on to a whole bunch of empty, you know, containers. So we're going to start with the Eden Body Works Cleansing Collage. Um, I absolutely love this co-wash. It is, y'all see I scraped it, wonderful, wonderful, um, definitely a repurchase. Um, it is very soothing to my scalp. It's just, it's just all around good, all around good. So um, if you haven't tried it, you might want to check it out. And then next we have another co-wash. It is the Oyen Handmade uh, Ginger Mint Co-wash. And it has got green tea um, and ginger extracts. And it is also a very stimulating, scalp stimulating co-wash. Uh, that's kind of a running theme with me. Sometimes I have an itchy scalp. Another one um, that's a good one is the As I Am Itchy Scalp Co-wash. If you haven't tried that, it's the one in the blue jar. Um, I actually am waiting for Sally to put some of that stuff on sale um, again. And then I'll probably purchase that one. But this would be a definitely, um, definite. Uh, repurchase off as well. I want to do some favorites. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments if you want to see some of my favorites like shampoos, co-washes, um, leave-ins, you know, um, twisting creams, all that good stuff. Just let me know. Okay, next we have, uh, this is a like a body care um, product. It is called Dr. Browner's and this is the 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. I saw this, I think I got it um, at, in Walmart, but I've been hearing about it. Um, if you follow Sheree Del Sol or Trusses of Alexis, two wonderful content creators, y'all check them out. They rave about this. Um, this is what this bottle looks like. I didn't get the huge bottle. Um, I wanted to try it out and um, it is, I have drained it dry. I really like it. The only thing that I will tell you um, about it, oh my God, it, it smells so good. It smells organic. It smells clean. It smells, it smells natural. Um, and it's got a lot of stuff in there like uh, organic coconut oil, Patex, uh, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, lanvin extract, um, organic hemp seed oil, organic jojoba oil, lavender extract, really good ingredients. And the only thing is, is that be careful because it is not your typical um, like body wash where it's a little bit thicker it pours out really quick and I didn't realize that until after the first use and I was like oh my god let me you know so you just have to be careful with how you tip the bottle because it's it's a thin consistency um, but it suds up really nice and it's so refreshing I will definitely get another one of these um, I think that there are other um, scents we'll definitely be trying those out so check it out definitely a repurchase Okay, the next thing is the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oils Illuminate Me Shine Mist. Um, I like this. It's cool. Uh, I happen to like the Maui Misting Spray a little bit better. It gives a little bit more shine, but this is cool. I like it. Don't know if I would purchase it. This came in a um, curl box or a curl, um, curl kit because I, I subscribed to both when I first went natural. So... 
Um, I had had it for a long time, finally got through it. So um, again, it's cool. Probably wouldn't repurchase though. Let's see, next, oh, this would definitely be on my faves. Uh, if I ever get around to doing a faves video, it is the Trey Lux Untie the Knot Nourishing Leave-In Conditioner. This is the bomb. Dot com. I have been hearing about Trelux um, for a while now and um, I really like this leave-in. Um, I use it um, on wash day. Sometimes I use it as a daily refresher. It's a great leave-in, great moisture. Um, it just works really well on my hair. So this will definitely be a repurchase. Uh, you can purchase this on the ground in Walgreens um, which is where I got mine and they usually run a kind of sell on it like buy one get the other one 50% off not sure if it's like in Walmart I, I can't remember um, and then you can buy directly from the company but definitely a repurchase okay then we have the Mish strength and protein moisture balance deep conditioner and you know Mish is Mish they have great products um, don't think I'll be repurchasing uh, for personal reasons. I'm not going to get into all of that. Um, I will just say that um, Mish, yeah, I like their products. Don't know if I like their personality. So, anyway, it is a great product. Another Mish is product is the Mish Quenched Hydrating and Twisting Butter. Great twisting butter. Love this size. I got it in the, the trial size when I first got Mish and I, I'm sure one of my first videos was uh, using that whole kit that I got. Um, and this was great for me when I, you know, um, to have something with me on my trips on the road. Really like it. Um, again, but Mish like the product don't like the personality and then we have the curl smith and you know i'm a curl smith stan the curl smith moisture recipe hold me softly style balm it's vegan it's got uh rare and robra rosemary oil organic apricot smash your avocado organic olive oil looks like this and I love the trial sizes. I love that Curl Smith does these smaller sizes. It is so convenient for traveling. And, you know, I don't have a ton of hair. Um, it takes me a while to get through products. And so this is a reasonable size for me um, where I can actually, you know, get a good amount of usage out of it. And I'm not sitting on it for two years. So. Um, we'll probably uh, repurchase this because again I like to have something in my bag in case I need it um, if I need some a moisture lift just a everyday little something to put on my hair so um, next we have the um, K Ali um, love I can't read lovely love <laughs> love fest um, burning cherry and this stuff smells so good so good oh my goodness I love it love it love it um, I don't have the box I tossed that but I've already I'm already on a backup I'm gonna have to break on down when Sephora has their VIB sale and get the big bottle um, mm, smells so good and I tried I tested um, the apple scent in the store and I'm probably gonna get that too but I love this size I love taking this on the road with me because you know my bags are already so heavy and where I can eliminate some weight I try to do that but I would definitely uh, recommend this it is a great great scent I get a lot of compliments on it already repurchased gonna get the big bottle soon okay then we have the Suave Professionals Almond and Shea Butter Moisturizing Shampoo. It has zero parabens and dyes. It's a great little moisturizing shampoo. Um, you know, just for a quick wash. I kept it by the sink. Um, nice silky texture. 
and I like it because it gives you a nice amount of slip if you like to detangle while you're washing and I love that it comes in the small size great shampoo and finally we have and this this thing is so dirty um, the pattern curl gel shine define and hold um, this is okay you know um, I like the pattern leave-in I love the pattern pick um, the deep conditioner is okay the gel is okay you know it's okay um, this is okay I finished this up on the road um, just to have a little something to you know put on my hair if needed so I finally was able to get through it I do like the fact that pattern has these smaller sizes but um, this would not be a repurchase for me um, it was just okay there are other things I like better I do need to try her her newer products, the deep conditioner that she has that's been out for a while and some other stuff, but I just haven't gotten around to that because I'm just trying to get through my stash, y'all. I'm just trying to get through it. Like, a, like I said again, I am making headway, thank goodness. And um, I by the time the summer is over with, because I'm probably going to try to be in protective style most of the summer if I can. Because A, I'm tired of doing hair. B, sick of doing hair. C, over doing hair. And D, all of the above. So, um, by the time fall gets here, I think I'll start replenishing some things. And then we'll do some unboxings and all that good stuff. So, that is out with the old. And now in with the new. Now, um, if you recall, I did a video where I was trying to figure out what to do with my hair. That You know, I was like, what am I going to do with my hair? And while we're at it, let's just unbox this henna souk that I ordered. And I ordered some um, several products for them. Some were powders that, you know, it's like a DIY thing. Um, and so I'm going to have to tackle that. And then some are pre-made already. They're in my freezer, actually. And I'm looking forward to using those some hair masks. Um, I'm my plan is to go onto the henna souk um, website and look at some tutorials and then um, another uh, content creator sable otherwise known as curls of the cpa if you haven't checked out her channel check her out um, i was corresponding with her on ig um, she pointed me to a video a video that she did where she did a whole um, series using the shampoo the co-wash different masks things like that in the henna soup line um so she recommended highly <coughs> excuse me that i tried the um because the directions say on most of the with the henna soup products um to wash with their shampoo and then when you um rinse out the masks to do it you know preferably with their co-wash and she said uh, what she she highly recommended the co-wash she said it was great so they had a sale so I got it hold on a second guys so if I can get this doggone box open because baby they got it locked down um this is what it looks like and here we have the henna souk. Now y'all know I can't pronounce this word. Come on now. Zizyphus <sighs> hair wash. SLS free and color safe. Healthier hair and scalp through gentle exploit ex exfoliation. This is what it looks like. And let me just read a little bit. Um, it says gently exfoliate and cleanse your hair excuse me your scalp with our zizyphus hair wash it's infused with zizyphus powder and sea salt both together gently cleanses the scalp and hair while adding volume and fullness to limp hair mm. so um, looking forward to trying that out I think it's sealed so I think it's gonna smell good though so I'm looking forward to trying that and then the one that uh, Sable recommended was the um, henna souk cleansing co-wash infused with 
Shikai Kai and Sweet Orange. I'm excited about this one. This is what it looks like. Okay. And um, our cleansing conditioning co-wash is infused with Shikai Kai powder and essential oils to quench and hydrate thirsty hair strands while gently cleansing. This cold wash is extremely restorative and leaves hair feeling soft and moisturized, aids in easily removing henna, hair dry, oh henna hair dye, and Ayurvedic hair care treatments, making hair more manageable and restoring moisture, ideal for all hair textures. And, and because of that, I think that's why they recommend that you use it after putting in one of their treatments. Um, to help rinse it out um, because I do remember Sable saying um, you have to be you have to really make sure that you get all of the product out of your hair I'm looking forward to that okay so I'm gonna sit this over here and then we have something else I was um, you all know I'm I, I always mention Shirley Ann if you have not checked out our channel please do wonderful content creator I'm always looking at her videos and she was doing some empties and she was talking about Lumi and Lumi has been all over the place I just was in Target today they're on the shelves in Target Lumi is um, she's in on Facebook she's doing ads on um, YouTube so they were having a like a February Valentine's sale and I just said let me just check this out you know um, if you've watched my menopause video I talked about um, sweating and you know body odor that comes from that sometimes and and you know different things that I use to counteract that so I said well let me try Lumi um, and it's a starter kit and it lets you pick um, from different um, categories so the bar soap as a natural soap for face and body jasmine rose rich moisture super sudsy and I don't I really it's plant-based vegan and cruelty free this is what it looks like I really am not big into bar soaps anymore you know I'm most of like many of us we use shower gels and stuff like that but I definitely want to check this out okay and then there's the um, acidified body wash and peony rose and um, I try to keep, I think keep everything the same scent and it is powered by mandelic acid it cleans and controls odor it's gynecologic it's been tested by a gynecologist um, and develops for pits privates and beyond okay now this is what it looks like kind of like a sample size since this is a starter kit and um, it smells so far it smells okay and then we have the Lumi 72 hour odor control whole body deodorant for pits privates and beyond smooth solid peony, peony rose I'm not gonna open it right now it's kind of sealed the, well wait maybe it is oh pull it off okay And I, I like rose scent. I know rose, the, the scent of rose is not for everybody. Everybody doesn't care for it, but I'm a rose girl. Um, this is what it looks like. And it is, um, it's supposed to be all natural. It doesn't have any like aluminum and all of that stuff in there, um, which is what I've been um, using deodorants like that that don't have all of the um, different artificial ingredients uh, definitely no aluminum so then we have the Lume whole body deodorant for pits privates and beyond it's an invisible cream and peony rose hopefully it's aluminum free hopefully I got the reformulated one because <laughs> Shirley M said she got the original one and it didn't smell good um, I don't know if I'll be able to tell I mean so far you know but she said upon application so we'll see 
I am going to test these items out and see how I like them. And then what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll let you know one by one how what I felt about them. Um, and then they give you um, a gift, a choice of some a, diff a couple of different things. And this is the acidified deodorant wipes. It's pH optimized to control odor. This is the cool, cool cucumber. And this is what it looks like. Not gonna open it right now, but I will be testing these products out. And at a later date, I will give you an update and let you know how they worked for me. I'm excited to check them out. So I'm gonna end it right here. I thank you all so much for rocking with me. Um, <coughs> For tuning into my channel I love you guys you're wonderful um, and we are growing slowly but surely we're growing so uh, thank you so much um, I just I want to say to continue to be safe out there continue to love on your family and your friends and I will see you in the next upload bye bye